Today we're going to take these three images and we're going to change the grass to be a lot greener. Okay, so this first image you can see that we have a lot of dead grass mixed with living grass. There's a lot of green, but there's still a lot of yellow that we want to fix in this. We want to bring that grass alive. So I'm going to control J to duplicate the layer. And then I want to open the camera, uh, the camera raw filter. And the shortcut is shift control A. And I always recommend learning the shortcut and using it. So instead of clicking this, I'm going to click out control shift A. And now I know, and I will always use that shortcut. So now we are in the camera raw filter. And this is basically exactly what you would see when you open a raw image. Um, you can go ahead and go through all these adjustments and do everything that you want with this. But we just really want to focus on the color of the grass. So I'm going to go to HSL slash grayscale. And this brings up this nice color adjustments uh, sliding panel. So I really only want to affect the yellows. So I'll click on yellows and hold down and drag to the right until I think it looks pretty good and I think right there is pretty good so there's a couple ways that we can do this we can just hit ok but if we want to make sure that it looks good we can check our before and after by like hitting P and that is our preview P for preview you can turn that off and on and I think that looks pretty good I'll just leave it right there click ok and we can go in and check out all the detail you can see that there's still a little bit of yellow. We got the yellow flowers right here. So it's not completely removing yellow. It's just affecting the yellows of the grass that we really want to be affected. And it looks really good. All right, here's our second image. So as you can see, we have a few buildings that we need to worry about. Uh, there's also this dirt instead of the grass that's yellow. So we might want to go in and see if we can fix that too. So there will be a couple different ways that I can show you how to do this. This is the same way that you would fix a shirt if, let's say, a shirt is green in the image. Somebody's wearing a green shirt and then there's also some yellow grass behind them. The way you'd want to do that is this. So I will duplicate the layer and I will do the camera raw filter. Control Shift A. Go to the HSL tab and we will get to our yellows. And I will bring this up to where I think it looks pretty good. That is very green and it's pretty bright too. So I'm going to go to this luminance tab. I will drop down the yellows quite a bit. That looks pretty good, but it's still very saturated. So I'm going to drop the saturation a little bit just because it's so bright. And let's check our preview before and after. And I think that looks pretty good. And as you can see, we are affecting the dirt here and we are affecting these buildings so I'm gonna go in and try to rescue or save that yellow so that it's not being affected by the changes that we just made the way that we want to do that is by hitting our mask tool and you can see we have a white mask here if you don't know what a mask is anything that's white will show on the layer anything that's black will be visible uh, or hidden so we're not seeing the old image, we're seeing the layer underneath. If I turn that layer off, you can see the image is just going um, transparent. If I change to a white brush, then we're bringing the image back. So I'm going to go ahead and revert that to all white. And put the background layer visible again. Now I want to make sure that I'm selected on the mask. Sometimes you might accidentally select the image and Go in here and think you're doing stuff, but you're not. <laughs> Always make sure you're clicking on the mask. All right, let's start with this house. We'll go to this building because it's a pretty simple shape. I'm going to go to the polygonal lasso tool. I click on all the edges here. And it doesn't need to be too perfect just because it's so far away in the image. I'm not going to worry about all the little details on it. So we have our selection. I'm going to make black our background color. And I will just hit control backspace and that fills in uh, the selected area with whatever our background is. So I usually do that whenever I have a selection. I'll just make sure the background color is whatever I want it to be and then control shift or control backspace. 
rather than going over here and clicking on this or or using the dropper tool or paint bucket tool sorry um, and now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here but we have the bushes to worry about uh, so we're not gonna worry about those too much yet but I will go ahead and use the same tool just click roughly around the bushes just so that I can go back in and fix those once I get it right Now we have our selection. I'm going to make sure that black is our background color. Control backspace. And you can see it looks pretty good, but if we look at these edges by the bushes, not so great. So I'm going to use the brush tool. Let's bring that down a little bit. And let's make sure that it's not too hard. There we go. So white to bring back the green. Black to remove it and I'm just gonna go around these edges and bring it back little by little this is my preferred way of doing it there definitely are other ways of doing it I just like to make sure that I get in there myself uh, but you can actually do this just with the selection tools available you can get a similar effect here I just prefer it this way all right there we go now we have our bushes uh, softened up a little bit and the houses look pretty good so now we need to worry about this dirt area so to work on the dirt here i'm just going to click on our image rather than the layer mask and i will do select color range and i will click on this yellow or yeah the yellow of the dirt and play with our fuzziness here a little bit i don't want to get too much of it i'll get to right around there that looks pretty good I will click on our mask and I could just fill it all in or I can use the brush if I want to be very specific but let's just try filling it all in control backspace and I will deselect and that looks a lot better you can see there's still a little bit of green in here that we could go in and get rid of just by whoops black just by going like this and actually I think I might do that I'm gonna click right here on this edge once and because it's a straight line I'm just gonna hold shift and click all the way over here and that fills in from that first click to the second click just a straight line and if I want that selection again which I do just gonna do control shift D and see it brings that selection back and I'm going to select modify I will expand that by two pixels I want to select modify there's a feather one pixel Let's see if the control backspace works good Oops. we go that looks a lot better I'd say but we went from this to this and that looks so much better all right this is our final image that we're gonna be working on as you can see the grass looks completely dead there is zero green in this grass eh, okay maybe like 1% green right here at this corner but it is just way gone so let's see if we can do the same thing control shift a and I'm pretty sure it's not going to work so I'm gonna to go to hue yellow yeah that is definitely not enough it just looks like a different yellow so I'm gonna cancel this and the way that I'm gonna do this is control J to duplicate our background and I will do control U to bring up our hue saturation you can find that in the image adjustments it'll be in here I always use the shortcuts so I forget where it is sometimes but here it is control U and there's a really cool way to select all of these different colors and as you can see we have the alt options here alt 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 
These give you the options to select certain color ranges rather than affecting the whole image like this. We're just going to select the yellows, which I believe is four. There we go. And actually, I held control when I did that instead of alt. So I wonder, yeah, control and alt work. Control four to bring the yellows up. And I will change the saturation all the way up just so we can see what our selection is. Make sure that you're using these sliders right here. These arrows and these lines give you the ability to select a color range with a kind of like a, a gradient in reduction. So anything within this area will be very different from the original image and then it'll slowly revert back to the original color. And you know, it's kind of like a gradient slow effect back to the original color. So I want to change this to green. I think that is a pretty good green right there. But like I said, I don't want to affect it that much. Let's do that. Let's darken it a little bit. That already looks very good. I want to bring back some of the yellow, but not all of it. There you go. And I will click OK, and that's our new image. Let's uh, zoom up on this grass, and you can see we still have some yellow, and it keeps it very realistic looking. And if we revert the image back to the original, you can see the huge difference. This looks like it could be a golf course almost. If it was uh, mode a little bit better, this just looks so good. Look at that. Perfect. And that's it. That's how you change the grass color to green in three different ways. I hope this helped you guys. If it did, leave a like on the video. Let me know if you have any suggestions on how you would affect the green grass. Or if you thought maybe I did something a little weird, if there's an easier way I can do things, let me know in the comments below. I'm always, well, I always welcome advice and feedback. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.